Hey guys, today I finally picked up a Subaru Jada Toys 118 and uh, let's get it opened up. Hey, I'm back with a new video and today's video is going to be on the Jada Toys 118 Import Racer STI. Uh, this is the Team Rotora livery and uh, this day actually came in a couple liveries. Uh, there's like a, like a dark grey one, there's the Option D HKS one which I still want and need. There's this here, the red one. There's an excess engineering blue one. And uh, I think that's it, right? From what I remember. Yeah, I think I believe that's all of them. So there's like four of them in total. So this is the red one. Uh, looks pretty cool. The blue one's actually gonna be pretty much the exact same, uh, which I kind of want the blue one. But uh, like I said in my other videos, I'm kind of focusing on doing the all the option D line first. And then I'm gonna have room for one import racer and I'll kind of figure out that one import racer uh, in regards to like what I want from that one. So anyways, let's dig into this STI here. So nice uh, side profile here, looks good. I, I really like the rims uh, with the gold there and they have like the Falcon Tire logo. So that's very, very nice. And uh, yeah, let's uh, spin it around. So here's the front and uh, looks good. It has excess engineering radiator. Or is that, that's probably a front mount intercooler, isn't it? Oh no, it's a radiator. Um, yeah, and then you have the nice hood there. Uh, headlights look great. And uh, the paint works really nice on this too. I like it's like that metallic kind of candy red. This is the other side profile. And as always with Jada, the, uh, the wheels uh, spin and uh, the rotors move, but not the brakes. That's a nice touch. And then we have the rear end. So the rear end I like, uh, the one thing I like about more about the Import Racer rear end compared to the Option D one is the not Option D one, it says HKS here, but on the Import Racer it actually says Subaru, so I kinda like that, because I like seeing that Subaru logo. And then you have the exhaust, so it's good. Uh, GT and wing is not the best. I don't like when they like curve like this, but whatever. Uh, tail lights look good, so yeah, it's nice. Uh, this is the underbody, and this is the top overview. So yeah, paint's very good, very immaculate. Uh, so let's go with the rear first. Let's see what kind of sound system this guy's rocking, yo. Uh, yeah, so uh, as always, you got the subs and the amps, and. Uh, just like the TV screen there so yeah surprisingly the trunk's actually kind of small in this one but yeah uh, and then you have the interior here uh, the door cards and then the actual interior so typical uh, Jada interior uh, nice thing about here is that it actually says um, import racer on the seatbelt which is a nice little touch And then uh, this is the other side. So very nice. The seats look great actually when you look at it like this angle. They look great. And uh, like always the seats are rubberized. And the, uh, this, the actual interior is very realistic. It actually has like the actual real um, original audio system there you can see it. And then even behind that TV screen it has like the real, because uh, I've had, I had the real car so it's just kind of cool that they actually did that for the detail wise. And last but not least, is the engine bay. So, this is the engine bay. So, very shiny. And I like how on the top mount intercooler they actually put Koyo Racing. So, that's kind of cool. Although, I believe Koyo Racing does radiators. So, I think uh, they should have been Koyo Racing here, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, looks good. So yeah, it's a nice model for sure. I like it, uh, but it's not my favorite because I kind of want probably the blue one more because that's the one I had, but either way, it's a nice looking model. Init or initial, what was I talking about? Import racer for the win. And uh, let me show you guys what the box looks like. Sorry about that. We, got a, we had a baboom, but um, yeah, this is uh, the box. 
So as always, you get some uh, extra wheels and you have an extra hood in there. Uh, carbon fiber rotora kind of says it, but I don't know why you would, because the thing, the problem with the hood is if you replace the hood, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the uh, hood scoop, which is kind of stupid. So I don't really know why you, it's kind of unrealistic, not sure why. I guess they save money or something by doing that. But yeah, that's it for this video. There you go, import racer. Brrr, drift, oval drive drift. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching guys and uh, take care.